YouTube, it's Elena slash Ninja, and this is Corel, everybody. So yeah, this is for you people who, if you're just wondering, wondering if you wanted to get it, wondering what it's like, um, yeah, th this is that. So keep watching if you want, if not, this isn't that important in the video, just wanted to have it up there for reference. So um, okay, I'm going to have have this video in different sections, so section one is, so what are these you may be wondering? These are where you put your videos, your text, your voiceovers, and your music. The first one is where you put your main video from here. So what this is, these are videos, but this is just a picture of the video. Your actual video isn't this. So if you delete this, say I deleted this, it's just a thumbnail. It's not the actual video being deleted. You can still access that part, that video from your files. Mine is under OS, under this PC, and this is where all of my videos and stuff I filmed from Corel are on, so let's just pick a random video. Let's say I pick this one. So you can just drag it in like that. So now I have my video. So what are these two things? If you want to know how to green screen and stuff, let me pick one that has a green background. Drag this into the second, and if you're not using green screen, this can still have like video on video type of thing, so if you play the whole project, both the videos play, right? If you want the green background to go away, um, you're going to want to double click on it, hit mask and chroma key, and click this. And it should um, detect what color it is. If not, just choose the color. And there you go. So that's basically green screen. Um, if you want to play just one clip, only play from the clip. And it should just play the clip. And if you want to play the whole project, hit project, then hit play. And there you go. So you can add another layer of video by going by adding it to the third layer and you can add multiple one of these if you click on this I think you can choose how many video tracks how many title tracks you want how many voice tracks and music tracks okay for text hit the T right here and this is for over video text so this will show up with a transparent background and it's a way to add text to your videos. You can double click on it to change the text. And you can hit whatever you know. You can move it around. That's pretty self-explanatory. You can add two layers of text at most, I think. You can add voiceovers and music by right-clicking your mouse anywhere on the black. You can insert audio to the voice track or the music track one, two, or three. You can do all of these stuff. That's pretty self-explanatory too. And that concludes section one. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to add video. So I showed you the first way on how to add video. Um, if you want to know how to get video on here, you're going to want to hit this, hit screen capture, and I'm already recording with my screen so I'm not going to click it. But hit that and it will minimize Corel and if you're on Roblox and open in the background it will go on to that and you can just hit record that's also pretty self-explanatory and it screen records and when it's done recording 
it will um, save here. These are some testing I did. And it will save here and you can click and drag into here. And that's how that happened. You can also add different folders. This is for the funeral I just did. This is for my school year. This is for my school day. My brother's basketball. And that's pretty self-explanatory too. So I'm going to go over these really quickly. This is just the normal video stuff. Um, this is where most of my captures go. This, I don't use this ever, honestly. Um, it's just, it's just random stuff. I don't, I don't really know. It, it could be like, um, intros or something. Like, this is for a wedding. It comes with, um, video, music, pictures. And it's all, it's just weird to me. Like, watch. So you could add your picture here, and you could add a video here, or your picture there, and yeah, it's just weird stuff. To go back, undo, there you go. Um, if you want to insert a voice recording, everything is on here. You could do stop motion, you could make a screen capture, you could capture video with your video camera, but this is mostly for screen recording. You could do a voiceover, and um, this stuff I don't really use. Okay, continuing to go down here. These are transitions, so if you want to transition from this video to this video, um, these are the ones that come standard with Corel. You can also go to different types of transitions you know they have all the cool things you could ever want all the transitions you could ever need literally and the text um it only have titles so you can also download a bunch of different types of these things but this is what comes standard with it so you know if you want to oh here we go if you want to insert text over your video like I said, you put it in this one, and it will show up with the transparent background. And just letting you know, everything goes slower when you do it in clip. If you hit project, it goes real time. But if you want the title, say, I mean the words as, say, a title, you would put it in the video section, and it would come up with a black background, and you could have your title that way. Moving on to here, it's just the different video backgrounds you could have. So say you wanted orange background with your text, you would just put the orange here and the words over the orange or under the orange on text and you would have an orange background. And these are the different types of um, effects and this is what really adds character to your videos so um, this is the effect I use for avalanche to use an effect left click hold down and drag on top of what you want you can add effects to videos pictures text um, that's pretty much all or all you would really need anyways but um, you see it's just fun looking around you can add it so where it like makes it a picture oh sorry you can't have two effects at once though I still don't know how to do that but there's just fun some fun ones on here and then this um, you can use these for second layer video, um, second layer pictures or text and this is basically the trail that the text or picture or video will go on. Okay now I'm actually going to get on to some editing, simple stuff. If you ever need any more help just let me know. But this is just the basics. Just, I think it's cool to figure out stuff on your own. But if you're actually really stuck, you know, never be shy to ask, I don't really care. So going along with this, you can zoom in and out on your track. I usually zoom way in when I'm doing animation so I can get it right on the point. And I zoom way out if it's a really long let's play because 
yeah, so I'll zoom in just for video purposes. So let's say I want to add some music. Enter audio to music track one. Let me go to my music. I'll add some DJ Khaled <laughs> music. And um, okay, so let's say I want my clip to split right here. So I would right click and it gives you all these different options. Um, speed slash time lapse, that's cool to use sometimes. I just do split clip. And say this is where you want the video, the, the clip to end, like if you're doing texting, like bubble text music video, and it ended here, you would just delete this part. Well, let me do this. Um, you can just delete it by hitting the delete button on your laptop or computer. Um, Say I want two different effects on it for some reason, I could do a blur for the second one and maybe um, what's this? One. And a kaleidoscope for this one. That doesn't really look right, but who cares. <laughs> so there's that. Um, here's what it looks like. I love that song. I don't know why. They have some lightning, some different cool things. I don't know, but um, the transition part you would, you could use here. So say you wanted it to like slide over. That way it has a bar going across it. And while you are editing, um, it's gonna lag a little bit. But once you save your video, it won't lag. Just to let you know. If you want to double click on your video, you can choose the sound if you want the sound of the video recording high or low. So say you're doing a let's play, you probably want your video sound high. Um, if you're at screen recording and it's recording your house noises like the TV's on or something, you would want to set your volume to zero. If you want to speed up your video, you can move it too fast. If you want to slow down your video, you can put it slower. Um, you can make it go backwards. That's always fun. If you click on attributes, you can change the um, effect of your video. And this goes for all effects. There's like different types of different types of that effect, if that makes sense. So there's more than just these effects. There's different types of that, e that effect, <laughs> um, you can customize it. You can also distort your clip and this allows you to zoom in or out on your video. I'll show you what it looks like now. So um, let's see what else. You can just add text or, you know, just, just play around. That's really how I learned because when I first got this, I had no idea what I was doing. Um, Where has Ninja been? That was my first video with this editor. Editor, You can go watch it. Obviously, I've improved a lot. Um, I didn't really watch any videos. I just figured it out. So just have fun with it. This is what I do. This is my life. This is... It. <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, if you want to save your video, go to share, create video file, and you're going to want to save it under WMV and 1080. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know. Like, like I said, just mess around with it. Um, if anybody, I don't know a lot of people who use Corel, so that's why I don't really um, make a big deal about what I edit with. Like if it was iMovie or something, and I knew some cool tricks, I would share that. But I have no idea how to use anything but this in Movie Maker. And um, yeah, so here's this, here's that, this is this, these are those. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know.
but otherwise than that, here's this video. Thank you for being a subscriber. If you're not, you should subscribe because that'd make me really happy. My voice is cracking. I feel like I've been screaming all day. I don't know what's going on right now. But yeah, have a good day guys. Bye. So I forgot to film this. <laughs> Sorry. This is um animation. So um <clears throat> for my intro, I filmed um, Ninja Girl laying down on a dock with her mouth moving. So I just ran. <laughs> I was running. Hold on. <laughs> Can't breathe. So I filmed her with all of the different mouth movements there were available. And um, I just mixed and matched, matched these. So basically, if you're going to do a voice animation, if you want like a detailed version, comment or else I won't do one because it takes a while but so just get your mouth movements where they're supposed to be or where you think they're supposed to be I'll just move some randomly copy and paste these I'm right clicking by the way if you're wondering just randomly moving these okay so there we have some so at this point where we're kind of zoomed in if I play the video if I play the video it will look like this so see how it's really slow if you want to speed it up so it looks like they're actually talking you want to zoom in and I'd say oops I'd say make the video about yay big and then just go on from there to see if that's too small or not so make all your videos the same size and if you zoom in and you make it shorter they're the little things are more precise than if you're zoomed out you can't really get it down to the right size so I'm just kind of randomly making these whatever size that is so now if you play it the mouth moves a little bit faster right so I'm gonna add some more because I can tell that I need the animations to be even shorter than how they are now so just add some more add some more and you just want to keep making the video shorter until it looks like a fluid animation motion so I say cut that to about that a little bit over half oh I think that I found myself a cheerleader so after this if we zoom out a little bit and play the video that's pretty good mouth movement if you want to watch it zoomed up close Looks like pretty good mouth movements, right? And then you're just gonna want to match up the 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 mouth to the actual word of the song. But that's basically how you would do animation. So yeah, that's basically how you would do animation. And um, I'm editing the video you're watching right now here. So yay me, we're getting stuff already. And um, I think that's all. If you have any more questions, let me know. I think I said that five times. Okay, bye. This is the second bye. This is for real bye.